And now the last team from the BAA, Mycroft, will be introduced to you by our entrepreneur in the house, Neil, again. <laughs> okay, can I just ask a question? How many people in this room uh, you know, your, have your position, your career, based on making proteins or enzymes? Or, or use proteins or enzymes? Ah, okay, 40%. Okay, so for you, Mycroft can, give you, can help you out. It can help you make your pro more of your protein, it can make your protein work better, and it can make it cheaper. Um, so Mycoplet is a synthetic biology company with a range of technologies coming from uh, the Nova Biosustain Center that can make uh, at high speed and that allow you to understand how proteins fold, to optimize the folding, to optimize expression, and to optimize the economics. And with that, I'm going to give you Maya. Thanks a lot, Neil, for the introduction. I'm Maya, I'm the CTO of Microbt, and it's a pleasure to be here today and present the company to you. Why is that making noise? Microbt is a company that wants to establish itself in the protein production market. Protein production is a very major topic in biotech companies and pharma companies. And for those 60% of you that said that they are not involved into protein production, this is the protein. This is actually a very important protein. This is insulin. Insulin is creating the majority of revenues for one of Denmark's biggest companies, Novo Nordisk. And as we are here at an initiative of the Novo Nordisk Foundation, we should all be well aware of that. But also, on your everyday life, proteins cross your way. For example, in laundry detergent or in medication or supplements. Unfortunately, protein production is very often inefficient and therefore very expensive. And for several targets, protein production actually fails completely. Microbt has developed a technology platform that can help to make protein production more efficient and therefore cheaper, but the platform can also. Yeah, I guess so. You will get extra thing. Well, I can just hold it and yeah. do like that. Excellent. Well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's working. It's working. It's fine. Um, yes, so Microbs technology can also enable the production of proteins that have previously been impossible to produce. The major bottlenecks in protein production are the expression of the protein, the folding of the protein, and the fermentation process. Microbs technology relies on two or on three patented technologies, which can optimize expression, optimize the folding process, also enhance the stability of a protein, and optimize the fermentation process. By further developing those technologies and applying them, Microbt wants to establish itself in the protein production market and enable production of complex and difficult proteins. During our time here at the BII, we have accelerated Microbt from being an idea to an ready-to-go-to-market stage company. We have performed a market analysis where we figured out that our technology can target the biopharmaceutical industry as well as the industrial enzyme market. Both markets have around 40% of their products produced in prokaryotic organisms and can be targeted with our technology. Also, both markets are constantly growing, which is a good sign for us. We have also performed the competitor analysis in this market segment, and we have identified as our direct competitors companies such as Vectron Biosolutions, De Novo DNA, Expression Biotechnologies, and Engines. All those companies have established themselves as protein production optimization companies. However, I will not go into detail here, but if you look at the coloring, you will see that each of those companies is covering 
a part of the protein production process. But Microbt's technology is actually covering the whole protein production process. However, we have not yet established our technology for eukaryotic organisms and we have also not involved scale-up fermentations into our portfolio. Two also very well-known players in the field are Ginkgo Bioworks and Zymogen. However, their approach and focus and also pricing model is very different to Microbs' approach. So we do not see them as competitors and would rather see them as companies with whom we could collaborate. It is our unique value that you can optimize protein production without compromising folding of the protein. Our technology is highly adaptable. We can customize it for any prokaryotic expression host, any expression system, any promoter system. Our technology is coupled to a unique selection system which can enable the very fast generation of optimized strains and will therefore save your time. During our time here at BII, we have also developed a business strategy and a sales strategy. We have created a project plan for how to continue after BII and have calculated carefully a budget for that. And we found that with three optimization deals per year, Microbt will be able to be a commercially viable and cash positive company within two years. Very importantly, we have also analyzed our freedom to operate and found that we are free to operate within all our three IP protected technologies. During the time at BII, we also had the chance to write grant applications and to meet potential customers, but also like-minded companies. And here's a list of all the companies that we have been in contact with during our 10 weeks here. Last but not least, I also want to tell you something about the team behind Microbt. The technologies behind Microbt were developed at the Novo Nordisk Foundation Center for Biosustainability here in uh, Copenhagen area and at Stockholm University in the research laboratories of Alex Tovgard Nielsen, Daniel Daly and Morten Nörholm. I myself, as the CTO, developed a part of Microbt's technology. The other part of Microbt's technology was developed by Jenny Landberg who went through this exciting journey here at BII with me. We also have a startup experience and industrial biotech experience, but most important, we have more than 30 years of academic and industrial expertise in protein production. And we are looking for an external board member to join our team as well as a scientist to join yeah, as a full-time employee our company. To realize our project plan, we want to raise an investment about 5 to 10 million Danish crowns and to initiate customer uh, contracts, we want to expand our network into biopharma and industrial protein companies. And I hope that you can help us with that. And with that, I want to thank you very much for your attention. All right, thank you for a very good presentation. I appreciate that in spite of microphone troubles and uh, everything else, you were bang on time, 7.0 minutes. Very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> so, uh, but, and, and I also appreciate the seven minutes didn't allow you to go into detail on exactly how your protein production technology is different. Uh, but maybe you can sort of tell a little bit about how you, how you will go about uh, introducing your technology in the value chain of other companies that produce proteins, uh, because they will have to change their manufacturing, they will have to use your technology, and how big a barrier do you think that will be? Um, and, and what's your thoughts on, on that? Well, I don't think necessarily that a company needs to change their workflow if they integrate our technology. However, when it comes for pharma companies, for example, then of course we, um, 
want to target like the lead optimization, lead development, because of course if you change something in GMP production, then it could be problematic. But our technology uh, simply modifies the already existing expression strain. So it's not that we introduce a new expression system or a new... It's, it's, it's sort of an, an optimized expression strain that exactly. you're making. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Good. And the, the second question is you're, s you're currently asking for five to or looking for five to ten million. And what activities would, those, uh, would that investment fund? Well, first of all, we need to get hands on uh, scientists to do the research and a physical laboratory in office space. And then we want to further develop and integrate our three technologies. We already have tested parts of the technology commercially and had some success, but there is some development needed. And then we also want to go further to besides doing business to business uh, contracts with uh, for other companies, uh, we want to develop our own product line because we think that our technology is extremely beneficial for difficult to express targets. And there are many of those targets on the market that have been shelved by companies or things like that because they are very interesting but very difficult. And bringing those products to a stage where they can then, for example, by another company be further developed and brought into market, that would be also our plan. Um, I just have one, one question or maybe a suggestion. Um, there's definitely a trend from corporates to externalize much more of their R&D, um, both uh, to get the diversity and maybe different approaches to some of their R&D programs, but maybe also to make more of their cost variable. So maybe you want to put uh, that as part of your um, offering to corporates. Um, there's one thing I'm not sure I entirely understand, that's the business model that you have and how much money you can actually earn from being a service provider and your reference to Gingo and Cymogen that you would more be a partner of theirs than a competitor. Uh, maybe it's because I don't understand exactly what they do then, but uh, to me uh, you're doing at least part of what they're doing. Um, well, yes, there might be for some parts, similarity of the, uh, of the approach. But however, Ginkgo and Zymogen are having those super high throughput automated strain engineering workflows. And what they do is that, as far as I understand, that they back engineer a strain first to the original one and then optimize that strain into the perfect expression host. This process, of course, takes a long amount of time. But our technology, as it is very targeted, uh, only takes three, maybe up to six months until we can deliver the optimized strain. So I think that there would be also, we have this folding sensing technology, which is very unique. And I think there would be like parts of technology of our technology that would be interesting for them to incorporate. Let's give a hand to Maya.